While drilling, it is essential to perform activities in a safe way, which will prevent uncontrolled flow of formation fluids and gases from the reservoir to the well bore and surface surroundings. This is called well control. It also consists of well control barriers, which are divided into two groups, primary and secondary barriers. The primary well control barrier is the fluid column hydrostatic pressure, referred to as well bore pressure, that provides overbalance against the formation pressure. This column must be monitored and maintained during drilling and tripping to prevent formation fluids from entering into the well bore. During drilling, if the fluid column is not maintained with adequate mud density, making the formation pressure more than the hydrostatic pressure, formation fluids will find a way into the well bore and a kick will occur. In this case, the well must be secured and killed. While tripping, if there is a failure to keep the hole full of mud to maintain adequate hydrostatic head, then the hydrostatic pressure will be less than the formation pressure, inducing a kick. Swabbing while pulling out of a hole too fast can produce a suction effect, resulting in a decrease in the bottom hole pressure large enough to allow formation fluids to enter the well bore, creating a kick. When drilling takes place too fast and into depleted reservoirs without proper reinforcement, it can lead to cracking in the walls and thus losing fluids into the formation, inducing a kick. Once a kick is detected, the secondary well control barrier, blowout preventer, BOP, must be activated immediately by the driller to secure and shut the well for killing operations. This is done by closing the BOP using one of the BOP control panels, one situated on the rig floor and the second situated in the Kumi unit. The driller will shut in the blowout preventer to stop the flow of formation fluids out of the well bore. Then, he will activate the alarm. Unnecessary crew will be evacuated to the nearest assembly point. The next step will be to monitor the shut-in drill pipe and the shut-in casing pressure gauges. The kick will be circulated out of the well bore using the driller method first cycle by pumping drilling fluid downstream and getting returns from the annulus through the choke line to the choke manifold and the poor boy degasser and toxic gases will be flared. Once the kick is out, the well will be shut in. Then the well will be killed with weighted mud by circulating the kill fluid until both the drill pipe and casing pressures reach zero. If all of the well control barriers failed, such as human barriers, BOP equipment barriers and system barriers, and the BOP leaked while circulating the kick out, this could lead to uncontrolled flow of formation fluids and possibly a blowout.